Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Hindu Jr. and this is Pokemon XD. I was actually doing some training while also uh, dealing with my Poke Spots. Kind of hoping to actually find some more of the wild Pokemon that I need because I did a double check and I'm literally like two, four, six Pokemon away from being done. So I figured I'd go ahead and try doing that on top of the fact that I was trying to find Bonsly. Go figure, my first time running into him, and there we go, we're done. I, uh, <laughs> didn't expect that. I expected that to take a couple, uh, t a couple of trips. I've seen it take five or six meetups, so. But, um, yeah, so I ran into this. I figured I might as well start recording now and let you guys see what, how this turns out. But, yep, captured Bonsley. Let's return him to its owner. There we go. Yo, Hindu Jr. It just figures. It would take you to find that lost Bonsley. We collected data using ONBS's resources, but we couldn't find a trace of it. We sincerely appreciate that you've done what you've done for us. My granddaughter and Bonsley are overjoyed. See for yourself. Yay, thank you. I believed in you. Ba ba Bonsley. <laughs> This is something that stands for our gratitude. Please accept it. A Bonsley card. It's a special battle bingo card, you see. You can use it for battle bingo games at Rogum Tower. It's an event that's not open to everyone. Oh no, the receptionist will know what to do if you flash that card at the re registration counter. I'm sure you'll enjoy battling with Bonsley. Thank you again. We must be leaving now. Bonsley, huh? It, that was the first time I've seen it. I guess there must be other Pokemon waiting to be discovered. Anyway, did you see how happy those folks were? The old gent, the little girl, and Bonsley? Seeing them, it brought a lump to my throat. Thanks for finding the Pokemon. Hindu Jr., we made the right decision in asking for your help. I'm amazed, though. That Pokemon really was something we'd never seen before. The world is still a vast mystery. I guess they don't care about the fact that there's the SS Libra is out in the middle of the desert. Whatever. Now I gotta try and walk my way back out. Yay. Alright. As you can see, I didn't quite finish my training with Zubat, but I'll probably get back on that after this episode. I did get it up a level, so it's not bad. It was odd. It gained zero to defense, two to health, and one to everything else. So that's a little bizarre. And it also gained wing attack, so I'm cool with that. It actually has a decent couple of attacks. Wing attack and bite. Only one of them were stab, but, you know, whatever. This is still technically third gen. It's not really going to get a decent poison type move for a minute. If I could learn... Ah, uh, really? Uh, if it could learn uh, poison fang, that'd be awesome, but... I don't think it can. I'll have to actually take a look at that real quick. And now I've got a wild Pokemon encounter to worry about too. Yay. Took it 21. Oh, it does learn Poison Fang. How about that? Level 41. Holy crap. That's awesome. Well, 49 as a Golbat. Probably the same as a Crobat. Yeah, 49. 
All right, that's cool. Air cutter at 35, what? Oh shit, all right. I mean, air cutter is a special attack base. And it's more of a physical attacker. I don't know if I want to go so far as to use air cutter. The cave, all right. Eeh. There we go. And of course, it's another fucking Zubat. God damn it. One for here, I need an Aran and another Whooper, and I'm done with this area. I was kind of hoping I could, you know, get that done real quick, but that's not looking like it's gonna happen. Kind of annoying. All right. There we go. Let's hop over, because there's some... The, the last of the Shadow Pokemon are ready to be purified now. Thankfully. So, that'll give us Lunatone, a rock and psychic type, and Meowth, a pure normal type. Before it started getting all that, uh, over the top catering to, like the Alolan, the Gigantamax, the. all that bullshit. Psychic, nice. That's always a good move to have. And Baton Pass. Oh, it had three? Okay. Rain Dance. This is where you start running into the really heavily shadowed mons. Because end game shadow Pokemon have nothing but shadow moves. So, it's, it's pretty hectic, late game. For those of you that have watched the previous episode all the way through, or one of the previous episodes, uh, I talked about um, doing pure monotype runs on this game. Like I mentioned then, I'm not planning on doing them like Nuzlocke or, you know, permadeath involvement. Mostly because most of the types that I have access to aren't... There's not a whole lot of them to start. And I, uh... It's, it's all double battles, so... Those can be relatively tough. Sometimes your opponent will do stupid shit and you'll be able to get through the gap battle without losing a single Mon. And then there are others where you literally hop in and then they f take out your Pokemon boom, 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 like that. So... It's, it's rough. I'm not about to try and fight with that like that. Yeah, there we go. That works. I almost have a full setup. What do you have again? Oh, Hardstone, right. Ups uh, rock-type moves. Which is funny, because I think Lunatone is more of a special attacker anyway. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and save here. Yep, all 30 Shadow Pokemon that I've caught are purified. 
Very nice. Very rare that I see that combo. All right. So. I think we'll go ahead and head to that area that is... Um, that was just introduced to us earlier. Because we'll go here, we'll have a fight there, we'll go over to another location, have a major f couple fights there, I think. And then finally, I think, be able to try and get our equipment back after all that. We've been spotted, so there's no point in hiding anymore. Who are you? Who are we? We're Team Snagum. Team Snagum? Can't really say I know them. See, he doesn't know either. It brings tears to my eyes. Hey, we should go. We should leave this to Gonzap. Be quiet. We finally managed to trace down Cypher. Haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Stand aside if you don't want to get hurt. Oh boy, there he goes. Lunk? You're calling the dashing and terrific Mr. Zook a lunk. How dare you? Ugh. You're not getting away with this. Really? You're gonna send in an Oddish? Okay. And there's a Zangoose. It's a Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> and there goes Oddish. I mean, part of that's because of the fact that Oddish has, like, crap defenses. Comparatively speaking. I caught the short end of the, that one. Wah, darn it. See what I'd say. See what, see what I'd said? If we couldn't even wait for Gonzap, this wouldn't... If we would have just waited for Gonzap, this wouldn't have happened. Walken must have reached that hideout by, the hideout by now and given the snag machine to Gonzap. Hey... We... you want more of where that came from? Ugh. We'll pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. You're not running off with them? You've got guts, but... huh? There it is. Wait a second! You're the brat who was at Gaton Port! What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news. Ever since I saw you, I had nothing but the worst luck. First at Gaton Port, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and promptly stomped me flat. Then, Gorgian gave me one major dressing down for showing off Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How'd Gorgian ever find out about me anyway? Gah! Remembering that is getting me riled. This time, I'll flatten you. Laffy and Baltoy, let's go. This might be a tough fight. Oh, I'm a little over his level. 
This is actually one of the few cases where Zangus is actually his strong mon. Yeah. Holy crap! Baltoy took a hit. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, if I lost Boltoy there, I don't know. Jeez. There goes Zubat. That's better. Carvana. Jeez. Would be great if I could take out Zangus right here, but I don't think so. No, not even close. Crap. I don't even have a fighting... Or I do. I do have a fighting type. What am I thinking? Not used to... Breloom. So... Alright. Thundershock on Carvana again. Let's just try and hit Zangus. Oh god. Oh no. God damn it! Flaffy! No! Damn it! That was the only one that could take out... Alright. Let's go with Breloom then. Zangus just got paralyzed. Though I don't expect that to work for very long. Crap, this dude is smart. Fuck. He's... For some reason, he's actually fighting like he's supposed to be, which is bullshit. Crap. Um... Let's do Mock Punch on Carvana. And bite on Zangus. Hopefully the... Between Paralysis and Flinch, I should be able to... Stall Zangus attacking for a little bit. Of course he'd have a Viper. After my Psychic type got taken out. Jeez. Damn it! Oh. Holy crap. Okay. He's still got another Mon Bump in the background, too. I'm gonna do Mock Punch on Zangus. And Bite. I wanna get rid of this thing. Right here, right now. Oh. It just barely survived. You sack of crap. Go down to Bite. Literally survived on one point of health. Piece of crap. Holy crap. Okay. Finally looks like I'm in a good spot here. Relicant. That's a water rock, isn't it? Holy crap. Seriously? There goes Breloom. Crap. I don't have a good mon left for this. I don't have a psychic for the poison type. I don't have an electric or a fighting for relicanth. Crap. I'm just barely over their level two, so... I'm just gonna have to hit them with what strong moves I can. Ugh. Relicanth, you're a pain in the butt. Poison Tail. It shouldn't do a lot to either one of them, really. They're both pretty bulky, so... Oh, God. Rock Tomb. That's a speed-reducing one. Not like they need it. Umbreon's already pretty slow. Ugh. This is gonna be a slow end to this fight. Just be glad I don't have to deal with those crashes any longer. Umbreon's taking hits, too. God damn. Between lowering his speed and possibly poisoning him, he's really beating on my Umbreon. Jeez. Well, 
Next turn, the Viper should be gone. Relicanth should be just about done after that. This was the hardest fight I've had in a minute. Honestly, I think he was tougher than frickin' uh, Snattle. And Snattle's not easy to deal with either. Oh, Umbreon just held on. That a boy, Umbreon. If I can take them both out right here, that'd be great. But something tells me Relicanth is gonna survive. Oof, Umbreon just about gained a level. Ah, oh, damn. Relicanth's gonna end up taking out Umbreon, I already know that. I can't. Oh, I should have done quick attack. What the hell was I thinking? It had. Uh, uh, I wasn't thinking. I could have just done quick attack and that would have been that. Damn it. Oh well. I guess Zubat could use a little bit of experience. She's just about at 22. And there goes Relicanth. Uh, I was stupid. Whew. Getting tossed in there probably helped the relationship just a little bit. But this can't be happening. It is. Get over it. 600? You're... You cheap-ass son of a bitch. You're just some kid. How could I, the mighty Zook, get beat by just... By just some kid? Because you flunked out. You only won because you got lucky. That's got to be the answer. I won't battle you again. If you win by a fluke again, my reputation will take a beating. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? The Oasis, huh? Alright. The ones I need there are Hopip and Surskit. Oh, an email from Sec. All right, so I gotta head over to Pyrite Town relatively soon. They probably give me info on one of the areas that'll lead, that'll eventually end up leading to uh the Snagum Hideout. So. Hey, I'll take that. Hi there, Sir Skit. You're the other one I needed. Oh, that's right. Sfeel's the only one that survived. Or at least one of the few that did. Well, let's do Mud Slap. I ain't gonna do something stupid and take it out. Mud Slap is low power, weak move. It shouldn't take it out. Yes, good, perfect. Accuracy fell, good. And both Pokemon that can paralyze it are out too. Damn. So I'll just use Mud Slap for a little bit. Oh man, that was a that was a rough fight. That one, that one actually beat the crap out of me. So, how is it it's been hit twice by Mud Slap and it's still hitting me? You piece of crap. I get hit by one of those and I can't seem to hit for ten freaking turns. Are you kidding me? Accuracy boost, or accuracy... Uh, drops do not help me in any way, shape, or form. I swear to God. Let's do one more. About damn time. Five freaking ones and you finally miss. Jeez. I could do one more, but if it turns out to be a critical hit, then I'm screwed. And I'd rather not mess this up. So, yeah, let's go with my Luxury Ball. Why the hell not? It's not like... I don't... 
there aren't any other Pokemon that I can get later in the game that require friendship for anything. Nah. Alright. Cool. So, now... I'll hop over to Pyrite Town real quick. I'll pull the second Surskit that I have gotten. Now all I need from that area is uh, Hopip, actually. And then I'm done with that. Awesome. Not what I want to do, thank you. Yeah. Alright, so... Hop over to where Duking is. Right over here. And he should be in the back room. He better be. There he is. Yeah! Oh, what have we here? Aren't you the lad I met at the Poke, Bus at the poke Spot? So tell me... Have you been keeping busy catching yourself some wild Pokemon? If you manage to catch any rare Pokemon, bring them to me, duking, alright? Hmm? Do you have a Trapinch, Surskit, or a Whooper? Yes. That's mighty fine. Your rare, your super rare Pokemon. I've got to have it. Please, lad, I beg you. Trade it to me. So, which super rare Pokemon will you trade me? That's the spirit. I like your generosity, lad. Okay. We'll make the trade of your surskit for my shuckle. Are, are you alright with that? Yes. Shuckle is purely a tank for no other reason. So, that's a little rough, but I'll take it. That's mighty fine. Wonderful, lad. I've accepted your surskit. I'm counting on you to raise my shuckle with care and love, lad. And no matter what Pokemon level I trade him, I always get the his Pokemon at level 20. So, that's not bad. So yeah, there's shuckle for you. A relaxed nature. Yeah, those defenses are absolute BS. Then again, I've got a Shuckle on a completely different game, not even... I think it's like level 17 or 18. I think it's 17. And... The attack, special attack, and speed are all better. And I think the special defense is also better on it. Actually, no, I think it beats it out in all the stats, period. Granted, I have it fully EV trained, but that's a different story. Yeah, I think it's like level 18 and it has better stats than this thing. That's kind of sad. And it's got... I don't care what the heck this thing gets hit with. Sturdy is not worth it. Because I don't even think there is a move that can actually take out Shuckle. Oh, but that's not too bad of a setup. Toxic and Substitute. Encore is okay. And Sludge Bomb. So Toxic and Substitute, I would think I would keep. Um, Protect, I think, would be a good move for it. It's basically a Toxic Staller. That's what it is. That's what it does. It is... It, gives you the definition of a toxic staller so and that's what I get for trading a shuckle or a surskit I get shuckle for a surskit it's not a bad trade I just think the trades for whooper and trapinch are so much better so we'll hop into the purify chamber here Take Flaffy, pop 
him back into the team and then pop Shuckle in here somewhere. So that's not really doing us a whole lot either way. So where can I... Ooh, ground flying. Because this is rock bug. Ground and water is good against rock. And the bug is good against the psychic. When, and in this case, ground is super effective. That would probably be my best bet right there. So... I would need a grass type. Hmm. Fire Psychic would be best otherwise, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, grass then water maybe? Yeah, a grass and a water type would fit perfect and finish this one off. And then I'd be done with all nine of my chambers. Which is the necessary, it's, it's the requirement for purifying the impure, the unpurifiable XD001 that they mentioned. So, go figure. If you're not, you know, focused on trying to purify Pokemon through that, and you're just doing it through your own means, then you would never... You wouldn't really be able to figure it out. I've always used the Purify Chamber because I didn't want to have to try and keep up with all 60-something Mons that needed to be purified. So, it was just... It wasn't worth trying to do it by hand. And I ended up, by accident, figuring it out. Because by the time I finally got XD001... I just threw him into the PC and, oh, yep, he's purifiable. It's like, what? Okay. So, yeah, fun stuff. The usual BS. All right, let's uh, finish this stuff up. I just realized how long this video has been, so I apologize for that. Are you kidding? Team Snagum ripped off your snag machine? Net. Can't you do something? No need to say it. I'm already searching. Hmm. It's no good. There doesn't appear to be any new information with regards to Team Snagum. It does appear, however, that they aren't involved in any of Cypher's capers. Team Snagum must be operating on its own. That's it. Oh, uh, was it neither one of them? Sec? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so Net's up here in bit. So Sec is the guy that's on the second floor. What the hell was I thinking? Okay. Oh, this BS that I gotta go through. Alright. I don't know how much longer the uh, clip with Sec is gonna last. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it good here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Pokemon XD. Again, I hope you guys had fun watching this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.